decorating styles come and go, but some things are forever. Even some things that probably shouldn't be, like AOL.com email addresses. Jimmy Rhodes dug up dinosaurs that just won't die. Hey Jimmy, what's the deal? Recently, TiVo announced its newest box for Antenna TV. Introducing the next generation of TiVo Bolt. And if you're like me, your first reaction was, there's still such a thing as TiVo? There is, and they're not the only product or service still going strong in a world that's moved on to shinier, newer toys. Oh my God! Woo! Here are some other surprising dinosaurs that just won't die. For starters, dial-up internet. Call now for America Online. In a broadband world, 9.8 million people in the United States still hear this when they get online. Yeah, that's, that's soothing. According to the comparison service All Connect, companies still offering dial-up include NetZero, AOL, Earthlink, and PeoplePC. It's like hearing the lineup of your favorite childhood team. Mickey Tettleton, yeah, I remember that guy. Why dial-up? It's available everywhere, it's more secure, and it's cheap. Nine bucks a month? Pretty sweet. And speaking of phone lines, you can still make phone calls for info, like, say, the exact time. At the tone, Eastern Standard Time, 12 hours, 34 minutes, 15 seconds. The U.S. Naval Observatory maintains two master clock phone numbers, 202-762-1401 for Eastern Time and 719-567-6742 for Mountain. If you're in the other time zones, you've just got to do the math. Believe it or not, these services receive about 2,000 calls per day. And sure, you're probably calling on a device that's already displaying the exact time, but Work with me. And sure, the National Weather Service has a handy website, but you can still make a phone call to get a recorded local weather forecast. To find the number to call for your local weather, visit the Dial a Forecast page at weather.gov. And why not just look up the weather while you're right there? Again, just work with me here. Finally, sure, we're in an age of streaming, but it turns out that people still want CD players in their cars. Insert a disc into your vehicle's CD player, and it will begin to play. An IHS market survey of consumer preferences found that more than 70% of car buyers want CD players in their cars. And of that group, 75% thought CD players should come standard in all vehicles. Maybe right next to that A-Track. Products thumbing their nose at obsolescence. Or what's the deal?